Do what you do, do what you want. What's up, what's up? I am Tampa Bay Tammy, and you are tuned into In Touch Radio, reality radio where everyone is a star. Hey, you got a million things going on, Mr. Johnson, but I love you anyway. Hey, I got a gentleman in here with me, and I would call him a silver fox, but I ain't going to call him a silver fox because his hair is not great. I don't see any hair. I see a little, but he's a good-looking thing. What's up? Uh, well, uh I come in to be with uh with you because I just said Miss Tammy got all the answers. Oh, well, oh, you got some questions. Yeah. Uh, I probably can't answer, them, but I can fill a bus. Okay. Just like those uh, Republicans do and the congressmen, all them do up in uh, up in D.C. I can fill a bus too. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, I know they can't fill, fill a bus in in, uh, in Florida because DeSantis got them with a with a with a closed mouth. Oh, I I just don't know what to say about that man. I don't I don't like him very much. At first, I had no problems with him being the governor. I was like, he wasn't my choice, but I had no problem. But when he started pulling uh, African American history off of uh, the books and trying to get rid of books, I've been through them ever since. And when I, well, I was really through with him before then, but that is the straw that broke the camel's back for me. Well, you know, I think uh, in his book, uh, Courage to Be Free. He put too much uh, information out, and I think this might cause his defeat. He's trying to out-Trump Trump, but Trump is, is uh, Bloomberg said he's a con man, and no politician can outmaneuver a con man. Yeah, he is a straight-up con man. DeSantis uh, came off like a family man, and I wasn't too, you know, I always know I don't have to always agree with you. I don't even have to be your same party, but I do believe I want to stay think that you are a fair and a good man, and I no longer think he's a fair or a good man. And I heard uh, from someone else that he had written a, a something back in college or high school. He's been a racist a long time, writing about black history and negative things about African Americans. So he's been had a problem, but I haven't read it for myself, so until I do, I'm going to keep my mouth a little sealed. All right, until you find out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, but if you go back, uh, before uh, uh, President Donald John Trump, there was no uh, DeSantis. He yeah. pulled him out of the woodworks. Okay. Because, you know, uh, who heard of DeSantis uh, six or seven years ago? The governor of Florida should have been uh, Putnam, oh. Adam Putnam. He was groomed for that, that position, but somewhere he alienated uh, Trump and uh, he went and got DeSantis. He created the Frankenstein monster. Oh, my goodness. What do you think about, and I think this all the time, I think the best way for uh, to the government to be ran would be for there to be a Republican and a Democrat in office at all times. That's true. I could see, and it's, there's a Republican I love. Liz Cheney, that's a strong sister. Yeah. And the only reason I love her now is because she stood up for the people and not just for her party. She did what was right. So I would gladly say Liz Cheney for president. Yeah. And people be like, what, Tammy? Yes. She stood strong against everyone. She didn't. And she walked to a beat of her own drum. She did what was right. I can see myself. I identify with Liz Cheney on that note. It does, I, I don't know. She comes from her rich Cheney family and daddy and all that good my stuff. But cold, your head getting cold. cold. <laughs> Put your head on. We don't want to make you sick. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and I know that people going to say, what is Tammy talking about? But I have no problem with Liz Cheney. And if I had to choose a Republican on the on another note, I would choose Romney. I have no problem with Romney. They are like, are you serious? When he was running for president and he was running against, uh, I think it was Obama, right? I had, I thought, well, he's not a bad guy. It just, I just wanted Obama. So in any situation, I can see, I could see um, Cheney and, Clinton, but I just don't think two women would make it because it's men are too chauvinistic for that. But I could see Clinton and uh, Cheney. Yeah. I'm sure it could. And I would be all right with that. But right now here locally, we want you to go vote for Robin Lockett. <laughs> We're going to yeah. keep it local. Yeah. Well, Robin, uh, I don't live in the 
in the city anymore, but I do have plenty of uh, constituents that live in the city who I did uh, get to go and vote for, mm -hmm. for Robin. Because Robin, I go way back. Well, I haven't even introduced you. I just jumped right into talking. Tell them who you are. I am Reverend Willie G. Dixon. Okay. Uh, the founder of the Coach Foundation. And I was born here in Tampa 91 years ago, so I know all where, where all the bones are buried. He's 91 years old. That's why I said I got a silver fox in the house. And he's handsome, and he can still dance. And I was like, okay, we got this good-looking man in the house that's able, and he's not broke. <laughs> <laughs> he's not broken down, and he's not broke. I was like, I'm going to give him away today. And then I was given some news. <laughs> he has a wife. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Willie, how long you been with your wife? Well, I got to count all the scars. Let me see. One, I think it's 40. You've one been with 40 her 40, years, 40 years. years. Congratulations yeah. on 40 years. Yeah. Mm hmm I got you beat, though. Uh -huh. Is this your first time around or second time? Uh, well, this is my third time. Third time around. Well, see, he looks uh, good. You know, when you look good like that, you can get a woman any day of the week. Well, others, they died on me. Oh, they died. Yeah. You didn't get rid of them, they died. No, they died. You, wait, did you wear them out? No, they wore themselves out. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all heard it right. He did not wear them out. They wore themselves out. Yeah. Anyway, so you've been with this one 40 years. 40 years. How much younger than you is she? Well, see, you hear the 19, question right now. Yeah. See that? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. But you know what? I guess it had to be 19 years younger because 19 years younger is still 70, yeah. isn't it? 71. She's 71. Yeah, okay. And if she leave, I wouldn't get anybody older than 40. Oh, Lord, he looking for a 40-year-old after her. Girl, don't go nowhere. <laughs> you make sure he goes first. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to tell you how you make sure he goes first? Give him some Viagra, girl. Just give him some Viagra. We'll take him out happily. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. That, that's what Oprah said. How did he die? He died like this. <laughs> <laughs> Happy. It's all good. Willie Dix, what else do you do here in Tampa Bay? Because I heard a few other things. Well, I am a real estate developer. I placed over 250 uh, first-time home homeowners. Um, in uh, new uh, rehab homes. Did you really? Uh, and I'm getting ready to go back into the business. And uh, I'm also in the prison ministry. Okay. Yeah, I go I go to the prisons every week. and Every week? Every week. That's a and lot. And they want me to go two and three times a week, but I say I got a life. You know? I know, that's right. But see, wait, wait a minute. You mean jail or prison? Uh, uh, yeah, I've been to jail and prison. I mean, but where do you go? <laughs> I, go to, I go to the prisons. Okay. And I'm going to the jails now. I'm getting my... Uh, my uh, my pen number, so I go to the jail because we were. Uh, I used to go and visit in the jails when Perry Harvey was a uh, city councilman when it was mm. on Morgan Street, 1304 Morgan Street. Uh -oh. They tore the building down because they thought the the rail was gonna come here. Yeah, that's uh, Pam Iola did that when she was mayor. But what I like to say about it, uh, those who are incarcerated, because I have a uh, compassion for the men and women who are in prison. Black males make up 7% of the Florida population, but the males make up from 40 to 50% in every institution. Because uh, it's not prison, fair. So you got to realize this. After they so-called freed uh, the black race, uh, color folks, whatever you want to be called, mm -hmm. then they came up with men, uh, Amendment 13. Mm -hmm. Amendment 13 to the United States Constitution, this is where they can incarcerate you. Mm -hmm. See, prison is big business. The budget today, according to the annual report, is $2.3 billion. Mm. And when I got out of prison, November the 20th, 1979, okay. there was only 13 prisons in the state of Florida. How many now? now? you got 67 prisons. Know why? Because they're in poor rural areas to create jobs. Mm. And so I need the brothers and, and the sisters to wake up. They know everyone who is doing something illegal. They wait until you accumulate wealth. So they, they come, come in and, and take your it. property. And then they send you off to prison. And in Pinellas County, they came up with two shracks, two shracks, and you're in prison for life. Mm. And uh, what, I, what I did, uh, I was a paralegal when I was incarcerated. Okay. Uh, I had a 20-year sentence, but I, 
but I didn't do it for four and a half years. But you had a 20-year sentence. Yeah, and I was going on 50 years old, too, when I got it. But I didn't do it for four and a half years. But wait a minute. Why? Did you hurt somebody? Did you hit somebody? Did you beat somebody? Did you well, kill somebody? Not, the only person I hurt was myself. I you know, uh, in my book, I don't have it here, but my grandson, he was, he was nine years old. He said, Grandpa, why did you go to prison? I said, because I was sick. He said, that's not right. I said, but when, when black folks use drugs, it was a crime. Right. But when white folks start using drugs and it's dying, an epidemic. it's a sickness. Mm -hmm. And they, they went to a rehab center and not to prison. Right. And they still go to rehab and That's not right. to prison. Uh, I was asked the other day if my children did a crime, would I report them? And I said, no. And he was like, are you serious? And I'm like, and I'll tell you again, no. The justice system does not work the same for everyone. And just like this insurrection stuff went on, we saw them break the glass. We saw them go in. And yet they act like they weren't supposed to be arrested. And some of them still haven't been arrested. It would have been over for us the next day. And so, yeah, I got a problem with that. Then even on the drug tip, they can go buy the drugs and smoke them all they want. You go buy them for Pookie. When Pookie sell the drug, all of a sudden, it's illegal and he gets locked up. So, no, I'm not reporting anybody. I discipline my own children and you should discipline yours. I'll be right back, so don't you go anywhere. I am Tampa Bay Tam and I got the handsome Willie Dixon here with me today. All right, thank I'll be back. You. Thank you. <laughs> You're listening to Tampa Bay Tammy. Your girlfriend. On In Touch Radio. In Touch Radio. Hey, this is Agent Wright, better known as Mr. Clean. You looking for some great barbecues? Come see them two brothers in the grill. Located at 423 Virginia Street, Charleston, West Virginia. We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, brisket, collard greens, mac and cheese, baby. Come get some and get you a nice, smooth cigar. 304-550-4431. That is 304-550-4431. Come get some, baby. The rib man, mama, the rib man. Hi, it's Angela Birdsong. And I want to recommend highly that if you're an attorney, that you get a quote for errors and omissions insurance from Sam Cohen at Attorneys First. He's had over 20 years of experience, and he knows how to work with attorneys. Call him at 727-799-4321. Catch my show that will be all up in your business. Let's Talk Business with Cheryl J. Cusso. Every Wednesday at 1231 p.m., my three co-hosts and business experts provide insight for business entities and entrepreneurs. First Wednesdays is Derek Blue, CEO of FAP, building the business blueprint. Second Wednesdays, check out with Dr. Shanae Davis of Your Best you clinic delivering our greatest wealth in your health third wednesday branding your business with jeanette diva j horse smith dash coordinating and marketing president fourth wednesdays featuring fashion trends styled by linda archie of el diva couture boutique so join us every wednesday from 12 31 p.m to 1 31 p.m at www.intouchnews.com call in at 813 444 
Jazz at Miss Connie's House is brought to you by Ray Williams Funeral Home, providing the highest quality, professional, and caring service for your family. Call Jeffrey Rhodes at 813-253-3419. That's 813-253-3419. Or visit him at 301 North Howard Avenue, Tampa, Florida. Ray Williams Funeral Home for the finest care and quality service. Tampa Bay Tammy and you are tuned in to In Touch Radio, Reality Radio where everyone is a star. Now is your time to call a friend and tell them to listen in. If this is their first time, tell them. It's just like what? Streaming? It's just like Pandora. You just type in InTouchNews.com on your website, on your phone and you can listen in. InTouchNews.com. Click to play. You can hear us. Any time, any day. We're always streaming. And the music is always good. A lot of times I listen to other stations and I find myself just streaming, streaming, streaming. I have to go to Sirius Radio or something like that to listen. But here you will enjoy your music. We do old school, new school. We do the best of the best. No cursing, no hard hip hop. And try not to use too many negative words because we are a positive right. publication. We are a positive resource. We are a positive everything so we try not to be negative but yeah we're gonna do some what's bugging me so you're gonna hear some negative negativity that's almost sound like some mess and, and that's might be a new word but uh, uh we ain't gonna use it we're gonna hear some negativity every blue moon but we're going to try to keep it real and keep it positive i have not here with me today none other than willie dixon he says reverend willie dixon no brother. No, what no, just brother. brother willie dixon yeah. but you would never believe that he's 91 years old and y'all he is handsome when i I said a brother cute he cute now you know i know cute okay <laughs> he is cute so willie dixon yes, 91 years old marriage or fourth time around or third time around like you gotta think about whether you had three wives or four i had three this your third wife yeah. the other two he they left here yeah. early i think he wore them out he said now nah, they wore them said <laughs> but anyway he's on number three and uh he's happy I see it in his eyes. He's all good. So I can't fix him up with you. Some of your old chicks tell me, it's no old dudes out here. Well, Willie Dixon, you got any friends? Yeah. How old are they? How old they need to be. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I got quite a few friends that are older chicks that look great for their age. Uh -huh. And they want to meet a nice man. Yeah, but it's an inside job, though. What it, you mean by that? You know, they can look good, but... Uh, <laughs> the body parts might not be working. Right, right. They may be a little more personal. I mean, you know, old chick know what to do. She'll massage for Alva to get uh, what she wants. All right. <laughs> well, that'll work. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think the Viagra do nothing but kill them at this point. What you think? Well, for those that need it, they have to get it. Ah. I just don't need it. Oh, did you hear that, child? He don't need it. And maybe he don't need it because she don't want it no more. What is it? What is it? Well, that's not true. That's not true. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We're yeah. going to get deep up in here <laughs> with a 90-year-old dapper Dan Counter brother. And he got his hat on, too. Yeah, yeah. You don't go nowhere without that hat, do you? Well, because it gets cold. My head don't have. Okay, the I hat mean, is gone. When I was selling... Uh, Wigs and, and uh, toupees. I used to wear a toupee. For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And see, if my daughter didn't dye my hair, I, I would look like Santa Claus. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. Did you have wavy hair? Because it looked like from yeah. the sides. Yeah. It wasn't too yeah. hard. No, it was, it was nice. You had Playboy hair. Oh, yeah. That's what we call it, Playboy yeah, hair, where you can run your fingers it. through. Yeah. You didn't have to put a, a, in the old days, they used to put, put a. straightening comb through it. Did they really put a straightening comb? Yeah. Okay. And then they came out with lie that what they call conk. They used to put put and make the hair straight. And I don't know why they wanted to imitate uh, the other people. Right. You know, because uh, 
Maybe they wanted to comb it in a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like Billy Eckstein, you know, all that. And uh, But one thing about Ray, Ray Charles, you know, he, he was from Tampa. Uh, I didn't here. know that. Yeah. He was here. I know Ray uh, just had a station wagon. He was walk up and down Central Avenue. What? And then later he bought a plane. I know Jeff said he wanted to drive the plane. But, yeah, you know, his daughter was in, in my band class. What? Yeah. Utah band. Yeah, at Booker T. Washington. What? Yeah, I had one of the best bands in for junior high school in the state of Florida. Uh oh. And we are, we got all certificates to superior, prove it. Okay. To prove it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did y'all have some high stepping, hip shaking, back breaking major rats? Oh yes, we did. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Always waited until they got out of high school. <laughs> They're not going to jail. Oh, Lord. So they were looking at them majorettes. You see that now. You see that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, you know, I, I was just saying this. We have so many young people who are incarcerated, and many of them are there because of a plea bargain. Okay. And most of the plea bargains were not valid. If you go over and look at Florida Rules of Criminal Procedure 3.1 and 3.2, it says that you must know the direct consequences of your plea. That is, they have to tell you that you can have a five-year sentence, and you can do your five-year sentence day for day if you cannot pay your fines, fees, and court costs, or any restitution to be any, you have not, you cannot complete your sentence. And see, whenever your lawyer and your and the judge does not inform you of that, that's an invalid uh, a plea bargain. So when you go before what they call a colloquy, that means a plea bargain. And under uh, Florida Rules of Criminal Procedure 1.7.2 subsection J, it says when the court commits an error, they cannot enhance your sentence. So uh, many, many people are afraid to go back to court because, they say, man, I got I didn't get with 10 years, and I might go back and get 20 years. But if uh, this is why I'm trying to raise five, about $5 million to hire some attorneys to work with these individuals because uh, I, can, I cannot go and represent them, right. but I can do pro se for myself. Mm-hmm. I'm finna do a, a suit now. On, on behalf of the Coach Foundation. But uh, see, see, you have to realize this. Every judge at one time was a lawyer, mm-hmm. and they they have a strong brotherhood, mm-hmm. and they don't like for you to come in there representing yourself. Because that means you're not giving them the job. That's right. Mm-hmm. And see, what has happened there, what I need my brothers and sisters to realize, that prison is big business. Big business. Uh, the budget... For the annual report for the Florida Department of Correction for this year is $2.3 billion. And now, here's the caveat. Uh, if you go, you can pull it up, go to uh, Florida Department of Correction uh, website and, and look for the annual report and look for all the statistics. Mm-hmm. You will see that in the prison system, black males make up the greater population. But if you go back and look at the community services, whites make it up. So, see, Jess is not blind. It's just colorblind, mm. you know. And so they're giving them time but giving them community service. That's right. Giving us time. I, mm. uh, through our organization, we do community service. And there was a young boy that came in. He had a kilo of cocaine, and he got 25 hours. Oh, and we get I don't know how long for a joint. Yeah. Hmm. But see what's happening now. Since they have legalized marijuana. Uh, they Are they going to let our people go? That's, they should. But Retro- it hasn't started yet. But now, if enough people start filing a, a, a motion that uh, that now that that the uh, America and marijuana, marijuana is has legal. been legalized, mm-hmm. that they're violating... Uh, the Eighth Amendment is cruel and unusual punishment. Okay. To keep them incarcerated because why is it now? So that, nobody's actually acting on that. No. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you something. We, you, we what happens is we get quiet. We just assume that things are going the way they should be going, but really and truly, we sitting back and allowing things yeah, to be wrong. Yeah, because we don't. We don't act. We usually react to conditions. Oh. And so, really, at one time. During the days of moonshine, it was illegal for liquor. Mm-hmm. But look at it now. Anything that they can tax, the Cisco tax, they, they were legalizing. Mm-hmm. So now they're taxing. But don't, the caveat about marijuana, it still is a federal crime. So therefore, you can't put the money 
in a bank. Yeah, now I'll, I'll always check that a out. Twenty two. I checked that. But, I checked uh, that. But you know, uh, I, I know there are a lot of men who I, I used to go to Coleman Federal Penitentiary, and they have four different penitentiaries there. And you got the women, and you got the Maxim Penitentiary, and see. You the, said where? Coleman. Coleman, uh, Florida. Coleman, Florida. And a lot okay. of people don't know. It's more people in the prison there than in the city. And it's what? a speed trap. Because I don't speed. And I got buses pulled, up. pulled over for that. you know. But what we need our young people to understand that they start building prisons based on the third grade. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. And so what happened is we need to have the parents to start teaching their children you know, to avoid all these pit stops. Yeah. So, and I'm trying to get at least, if I can get 10,000 people to become a part of the coach faith-based ministry, which is the not coach faith-based faith ministry, faith. which coach is not a faith. 501c3, uh -huh. then we can do political things. And see, even with the governor, uh, and I know Al Sharpton, he came to town, they marched against this uh, AP uh, a situation that's going on mm -hmm. now, but if if the people start telling their local politician, I elected you to go and represent me, and my and and the needs of our community, and you should not have the governor to intimidate you, that he would not pass your bill. See now, they don't know they can impeach the governor, they can impeach him with enough people, but they are afraid, you know. And uh, they be so wait a minute. This coach, uh, faith ministries, you need how many members? If I could get 10,000 members, and how do you get 10,000 members by people signing up or yeah. petition? Or well, they can either pay zero or one dollar. The main thing is get a database. Okay, so when we do Fresh Fridays out here or any event, is that an opportune time for you to sit up and solicit for members and get people to sign up? Yes. Okay. And then for them, and see through social media uh, and through this radio show, we can get people to say, well, look, you get three people. Okay. And then get those three people to get three people. Just like uh, 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 all of these people that's using Mary Kay. Okay. It's always start, it's numbers. The pyramid kind it's of numbers. Thing. Yeah. And I'm not giving Mary Kay uh, any publicity because she doesn't have an ad. And but <laughs> but, those, but there are some of the members, they can get an ad through In Touch mm -hmm. because cause the paper cannot survive unless we have supporters. That's right. And I know I was talking to Brother Darrell. You know, he's a good Kappa man, too. You You're know, a Kappa. I'm a Kappa. There's no I should have known that Pretty Boy was a Kappa. A 91-year-old <laughs> Pretty Boy Kappa. Yes, uh, sir. So if we can get enough people to come up with... Uh, programs to help people when they get out and see most of the fellas they work for for nothing in the prison system and then they get out and, get a job. and they won't take any kind of job when i got out of prison the first time <laughs> i went twice okay it was so nice i went back twice <laughs> <laughs> i want to hear the whole story later but keep going but, but, but see this is it but i was a because uh, you know i i was a college graduate I was able to go back into the prison system and teach. But okay. the first job was under the CEDAR program. And the CEDAR program is, is they only paid me $575 a month with a college degree. And somebody said, well, why do you work? I said, look, if you don't work, you'll steal. And if you steal, you're going to prison. Mm -hmm. So I really work. A. Brown used to tell us, low pay is better than no pay. Low pay but I did no that pay. job so well, I got a job working for Pasco Community College, my okay. salary triple. Okay. So once you prove yourself, people will give you an opportunity to make life better for you. Okay. But you can't, and I see Sit guys, and take nothing. They, they work on the road, digging ditches, but then when they get out, they want to get a job uh, <laughs> with a shirt and tie. But see, when I was teaching at, at Zephyr Hills, the same prison I left, uh, I asked the guys, why so many of you pick oranges? He said, because we don't have to fill out a resume. I said, well, look, oh. I'm going to show you this. Everything what we call is a slack. All resumes and applications follow the same pattern. I said, we'll just make one master plan. And and you don't want to lie on your application. Don't say you was at Zephyr Hills Correction Institution. It say your last place of employment, Zephyr Hills, Florida. Oh. <laughs> All of you in prison. Okay. But you don't have, and sometimes 
They now, say, now you have to ask that though. Uh, you really do for almost anything. You well, have because if they look in your background and find it, that's a reason for immediate dismissal, even after you've been hired. Well, you know, I agree with you because, you know, I would not want a child molester to go work at a daycare. No, I, I wouldn't want either. a bank thief to go work in a bank. Mm -hmm. So certain things you need to know. Right. But I think what I used to tell the men do to do when they said. Uh, uh, why were you incarcerated? I will explain during the interview. Okay. And then you sell yourself at the interview. If you can't sell yourself, well, you don't need a job. <laughs> <laughs> I am Tampa Bay Tammy. You are tuned in to In Touch Radio. I hear some music coming up. It must, okay. Don't go anywhere. Call a friend and tell them to listen in. And I'll be right back, y'all. By now, we're all aware of the dangers of COVID-19. Like others with existing health issues, cancer patients are at a high risk due to their compromised condition. If you are newly diagnosed with cancer, your care likely can't wait. Moffitt Cancer Center is the best place for your cancer concerns and to provide guidance to help you plan your next steps. We're here for you. Call 1-888-456-2839 or go to moffitt.org slash here for you. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call Herma White at 961-6661. That's 961-6661. So believe we hunted down 813 Everything gon' be okay, call Ricky, he coming He taking care of state of Florida, grab a pin of sun down 184361-RICK That's 184367425 Never word from the point forward, just recline Just ask Ricky, push your boy, stay fine Just in case you missed it, I'ma tell you one more time 184361-RICK Call Ricky, ask Ricky legal medical referral service. The doctors and lawyers in our network are trained in handling auto injury claims and giving you the best medical treatment and recovery. Now, 1-844-361-RICK. That's 1-844-361-7425. Oh, Ricky, 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 Ricky. Ask Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Hey, I am Tampa Bay Tam. You tuned in to In Touch Radio, reality radio where everyone is a star. I'm here with none other than brother Willie Dixon. He is a capper. He's a good looking brother. And you wouldn't believe it, but he's 91 years old. And that's what I call a seasoned senior. He's on his third wife. He said he wore, he didn't wear them out. They wore themselves out. But he's still here and he has one now that he's just as happy with. Now, Reverend Willie Dixon or brother Willie Dixon, which one you want? Either one. He said either one is fine with him. Now, uh, we were talking about incarcerations, jails, because he's been a couple of times, but he came out all right and everything was good. But before we get back to that, I want to talk about what's been going on as far as how you find a man that's not in jail. <laughs> <laughs> and ladies, I got a suggestion for you. If you're an educated chick, a mature chick, an older chick, first of all, he's not knocking at your door. Now, maybe you call the plumber and he's going to fix the sink, but uh, I don't think that's how you're going to meet him. And maybe it's going to be uh, your lights get cut off and they come to cut them back on, but that's not going to happen either because they do that now from the place, right from the office. They just cut everything off on and off by electronically you know so uh, digitally however you want to say it so that's not how you're going to meet them so how are you going to meet them okay you're gonna have to get up and get out you're gonna have to put your good girl on put on your nice bright red dress or black dress to make you look small and red if you're small already and you want to be seen you're gonna have to fix your hair put on some mascara and you're going to have to smile baby 
Yes, you're going to have to smile. Even when you're walking down the street just to stay in shape, you're going to have to wear some cute workout clothes. Because I know in the old days when we put on workout clothes, we put on a T-shirt and the, the raggedy stuff we didn't want. But they, some things have changed. You're going to have to put on something fitting, even if you big, and it doesn't make you look too bad. And you're going to have to walk, and somebody may just walk up on you. But if you really want a brother that's... Uh, might have a little extra money i'm going to suggest and if you got some extra money i'm going to suggest you go skiing uh-huh. what uh-huh. skiing girls have you looked at in touch news at the centerfold you'll see the national brotherhood of skiers uh the onyx we have a team right here in tampa bay called onyx most cities have a black ski club I'm suggesting you join. If you don't join, just go to the annual events. There are two big annual events. And one thing about skiing, it's not cheap. And very few broke brothers are there. And it's one of the few places I heard there are more men than women. Hey, that was I just said. What? Girl, yes. It's just like uh, people say, where do you go? I said, if I had a choice between going to Super Bowl and NBA All-Star Weekend, as a sister, I'd be at All-Star Weekend. Yes, the brother's there looking good. If you fine and tall, you might just find you an NBA player. And most of the boys, probably too, the players are maybe too young for you old chicks. But they got coaches now. <laughs> and coaches get paid too. And one thing about NBA All-Star Weekend it's a great time. If you don't go to any party, go to the all the uh, the Players Association party. Now you like, well, how do we get in the Players Association party? You got to pay. You got to pay to play. It's not a twenty dollar party. It's not a hundred dollar party. It's more like a three fifty dollar party. But if you go to that three hundred fifty dollar party, you gonna have food and you're going to have one of the best shows you've seen all year long. It's kind of like a Super Bowl show. I remember one year was. Um, Snoop and R. Kelly on the same stage. I know y'all like R. Kelly right now, but he was hot then. And uh, a whole lot of stars, a whole lot of every, anybody who you want to see is at All-Star Weekend. The Regina Kings, she was there. Oh, yeah. Even the, the, uh, what's the, what's the producer name? He was there. You see him all the time on the floor. I can't see him having a senior moment. What's the man out of New York City? Spike Lee. The Spike Lees are there. Everybody is there. Mostly stars party at the All-Star Weekend. So save your change. Make it count. Stop buying all these other people names like Louis Vuitton and Red Bottoms. And save your money and get a ticket and go hang out with the people you really want to be with. And you don't have to have on designer this and designer that to be with them. They don't have it, and they're not buying it. If it do, if they got it, somebody gave it to them, or it's a knockoff. I listened to a guy the other day. He's extremely wealthy. And what did he say? I don't buy real jewelry. Why would I do that? I am who I am, so I don't have to do that. They automatically assume it's real. So stop being a fool with your money. Enjoy your life with your money. Stop giving it to someone when you can go to the same, I mean, to some high-end store, when you can go to the same place and buy, I mean, a different store and buy something that looks just as good on your body and still have money left over for a plane ticket because every month you can fly somewhere. Now, this month was popping, if you're listening to me internationally, was popping, or I say nationally, was popping. It's right here in Tampa Bay. Yes. Do you know we got the, the jazz festival coming up? No, it's Jazz in the Gardens. Yes, Jazz in the Garden is March 9th. I was trying to do right here in Tampa Bay, Jazz in the Gardens. And last weekend, it was a show right there with In Vogue. And and then here in Tampa Bay, we have shows all the time. Allegiant Airlines have flights for under $70 one way. Okay, and if you can drive and get with some girlfriends, roll on down, enjoy your life. Be a 100% class act when you get here, but come on down and have a great time. If you want to meet somebody, you have to get out. 
and you have to look good. And you can't be too lazy to put your good girdle on. Yeah, I know it's hard to get in your good girdle. You have to stretch and struggle and pull it up, but it's all good. And look, I got the lineup for the Jazz in the Gardens, too. I think I do. It's in Jazz in the Garden in Miami, Florida every year. I don't know what year it is. I lost it. I thought I had it. But um, if I'm not mistaken, Charlie Wilson is in it, uh, Erica Badu. Um, I'm trying to think who else. But it's, the lineup is awesome. There's always something going on in Tampa Bay. Just make up your mind. You're not spending all your money on clothes and your closet falling down. Take that money and spend it on a plane ticket and come on down. You get with your girlfriends, one or two of you and three of you. You can share the cost of a room and just have a great time. And the best thing you can put on is a smile. Yes. And if your body ain't looking good, keep your clothes on. Okay? If it's looking good, that's all good, too. But here's the lineup for Jazz in the Garden. It's Jill Scott, Jody C., Ari Lennox, oh, and Elle DeBarge. Old school, new school, old school. You are all welcome at Jazz in the Gardens, an annual event. Now, here in Tampa, we got something else coming up and i'm trying to get we got an all-white affair and it's going to be in april if i'm not mistaken it may be april 23rd but you'll hear more about that uh those of you who are into your holy rollers and you only do christ and christian things we have a lot of women's conferences down here too and if you're looking good with your dress on and your pearls on and you go sit out and eat and you smile you may just meet someone too now it sometimes there are a few brothers at these women's conference because this is women's conference month so there will be a lot of conferences and stuff like that and in the band there are always some men smile you may get a date all you holy rollers I ain't going to tell you what I really think, but anyway, with your little slick sales, you might just find you a good old deacon there, but please leave the man alone if he married, okay? Hi, I ain't playing with you. Now, Reverend Willie Dixon, yeah. did you meet your last wife at church? No, I didn't. Oh, where you meet at? Yes, I did. Oh, he yes, said yes, I did. did. You I met at church. Well, did you meet your first, where did you meet your first wife? In Tampa at a party. At a party. Where yeah. did you meet your second wife? Uh, at, 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 in college. In college. Yeah. What college was that? Tennessee State. You went to Tennessee State? Yeah. I got engaged at Tennessee State. Yeah. On our way home, homecoming. Sure did. Yeah, down yeah. on Jefferson Street. Hey. Yeah. yeah. You, what, what, what got you to Tennessee? Uh, well... I didn't have but $250, uh-huh. and I know that uh, if I go to Tennessee, I would be able to uh, stay there for four years, which I did. <laughs> uh, all I need to do is to get there. I heard that. And, yeah. So. Uh, I bet he was there when your daddy was there. They about the same age. Did you know a Theodore Roosevelt Johns, a little short, dark-skinned brother? He was a capper. I might, I might, mm-hmm. yeah. Now he had a but hus- I, I just want to say this. You was talking to the young ladies. Uh-huh. But uh, there's nothing wrong with being a cougar. Uh, yeah. uh-oh. So, I mean, and the thing about it is a lot of the professional women, they need not to uh, act like they know more than the man. Let him think that he know more than you, but you just be calling the shots. Oh. See, see, you got to know the games that people play. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you say there's nothing wrong with being a cougar. No. Because oh. they don't say anything to a man. Uh, no, they don't. No. Uh, a man could be 100 years old and have an 18-year-old sure girl. Can. And say, oh, look but I'm going to tell you right now, if I was you ladies, I wouldn't be a cougar. No. No. I'm telling you, nothing can hurt a woman more than to be dumped by for a younger woman. That just crushes those women. And I've heard the story over and over. I don't know what they expect. Of course it's going to happen. You got to know, but they got to be in it for themselves, too. They, got, they can't be in it for the long haul. They have to be in it for the good times, right? No, no but see, a real cougar, they're going to groom the man to be the person they want him to be. You think? Yeah, they, yeah, I, don't think you can groom, I don't think you can groom some of these young things out here. I think you just got to enjoy them, get what you want, <laughs> and send them home. <laughs> that don't sound right, huh? Well, I'm so glad I'm married. I ain't got to be out in the streets looking. But I tell you right now, something happened to Daryl Johnson. I'm going to get me another man. 
Because mm-hmm, I already know he's going to get him another woman. <laughs> I won't be in the grave good before all of y'all be knocking on the door. Tell me, Daryl, <laughs> I heard you like Italian cream cake and Tammy never baked you one. I can just hear, Daryl, I know you like German chocolate. Oh, girl, I already know y'all coming, okay? <laughs> so I don't plan on letting him, I don't plan on dying before Daryl so y'all can forget about it, okay? Just get it out your head. Tammy ain't going nowhere. This old heifer going to be here, <laughs> and I ain't going nowhere. You're going to have to sit back and watch me dance with him, kiss on him, and everything else. Tampa Bay Tammy ain't going nowhere. Now, this <laughs> they waiting too late. They were waiting on you, weren't they, Willie Dixon? <laughs> when your wife died, how long did you did it take you to get another wife? Oh, it was about 20-something years. Which one, the first one or the second the one? The second one. All right, after the second one, because, see, you would, but when the, th- when the second one died, how long did it take you? It took, uh, it took a month. some time. No, it took longer than that. <laughs> okay. I didn't know my wife for three weeks before I married her. This one here? Yeah. Okay. If I had known her four weeks, I probably never would have got married. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So move fast, girls. Yeah. Move fast. Yeah. Take it from an old player. The quicker yeah. you, you, you better off if you move fast. Yeah. Oh Lord, yes, that's too cute. But life is good, though. Life is good. I have no regrets. I know that's yeah. right. I have the good, none. The bad either. and the ugly. I take it all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Marriages have hills and valleys, and you have to stay through the valley to get to the hilltop or the mountaintop. Yeah. yeah. And if 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 I look back on all the things I've done and it's all the things I wish I had done and all the things I hate I did, I always tell people, those of you without seeing, cast the first stone. That's right. I don't know any perfect people. I don't know any perfect marriages. And if you think yours is, keep living, okay? (laughs) So stay out of other folks' business. Let them do their thing. Pray that they come to their senses when they get off track, but do not wish them any ill harm because a whole lot of people are still married because you stayed out of their business. Mm -hmm. And a whole lot of people are not married because some folks got in their business (laughs) and they end up up worse off than what they were before. I often tell mothers with sons, the best thing that can happen to your son is for him to fall in love with a good girl. That's right. Because then he tries. Then he wants to take care of her. He wants to love on her. He wants to be his best self. So stop running off girls, uh, especially some girl you think he can't keep or he's not good enough for. It's no such thing. Your son can be with any woman he wants. I can't believe I only have five minutes, but I'm going to tell you now. Um I had a son, and we lost him in 2008. And I often look at young girls right now and say, oh, she could have been my daughter. But I know, and, I, you know, they probably say, Tammy, you, you don't understand. You don't have a boy. But if I had a boy <laughs> that was alive and he had a wife, I would buy her gifts all the time so she wouldn't leave him. Because <laughs> I know they're not perfect. So if you got a daughter-in-law, Buy her gifts, hug on her, be talk sweet to her. And when your son is out of order, apologize for him and say, girl, he ain't perfect, but he loves you. Uh-huh. You just talk, don't talk down to her like it's okay for him to mistreat her or not be sweet to her. You be sweet because marriage is to, they are married to each other, but they also marry into a family. Right. And if it's the right family, they try harder to stay. I want my son-in-laws to stay. You all know who you are. I love you all, Calvin, Danny, Rochester. Don't leave my babies, and I'm going to try my best to make sure they don't leave you. And I'm looking so forward to us growing together, growing In Touch News, In Touch Radio, uh, the real estate. They got so many things going on, and I'm looking forward to all growing. And all my son-in-laws are multi-talented, and you will see them all this year at the Power Couples Ball at the end of the year. So get ready. I am excited. I am blessed. And I pray the same thing for you. I am not going to hold you. I am Tampa Bay Tammy, and I'm going to tell you a ton of things to get ready to do. But we got to go right now. If you're playing golf, 
Go practice up because the alphas have something coming up and they're going to want you to play. If you got something else going on, if you're a Kappa and you're in Memphis, Tennessee, we're going to be there soon for the 40th uh, anniversary of a charter membership of Beta Mu. Is it Kappa Beta? Beta Mu was the original there in Lemoyne, Illinois, right? So it's Beta Mu. We're going to be there. We're going to be at the pocket on a Saturday night. I'm looking forward to that. We're going to do a brunch on a Sunday morning, and the rest of the stuff is strictly for the Kappas. But I'm coming to town, baby, and I'm ready to have a good time. So get your red dress ready, your red jumpsuit, your red shoes, and make sure you put on your red underwear. I am Tampa Bay Tam, and I'll check you later, y'all. You have a great day. Thank you, Willie Dixon. Yes, it's good to be Bye-bye. Tampa Bay, Tammy, Tampa Bay, Tammy, Tampa Bay, Tammy, your girlfriend. Just listen to Tampa Bay.